My name is Fatima Chauhan. I'm the Deputy Minister of Home Affairs. My overall impression of the uh, session today in the NCOP uh, is that uh, people were raising very, very relevant issues. I'm uh, very surprised, pleasantly so, that they are very alive to the challenges of government, very informed, and I think uh, a lot of that has to do with uh, CDWs who work on the ground and so on. Uh, as far as home affairs issues that were raised are concerned, they were twofold. The first is uh, around service delivery for citizens. Um, many people complained that uh, our home affairs offices are fairly full and they have to wait in queues. Um, I think this is uh, the same throughout the country. And I've had to explain the capacity constraints in home affairs over the last few years. Um, people wanted to know what strategy uh, we will employ into the future to deal with this matter of undercapacity and we explained that um, we are in discussions with the major banks uh, to partner with them to have um, satellite, uh, if you want to call it that, offices of uh, home affairs in some of our banks. Particularly in the metro areas, I think that uh, this particular strategy will alleviate to a large extent uh, the overcrowding at our offices. Um, we also uh, are investing in our new mobile uh, offices um, that can be deployed to the more rural areas, um, but uh, we expect those to come online only within the next uh, six to eight months. Uh, insofar as um, uh, immigration issues are concerned, people are in fact very concerned about uh, not just illegal migration into the country but also um, the propensity of uh, communities was to speak about illegal goods, uh, the theft of, of cables in particular areas uh, was, was very pronounced and, and, and really worrying to people because that affects their service delivery, electricity, etc. Uh, but in relation to foreign nationals, particularly the issue of drugs uh, is a constant refrain from, from members of the public. Um, and we explained that again we have capacity constraints in our inspectorate to deal with illegal movement into our country and that the real solution is to be found in uh, managing our borders which are fairly porous. Uh, people don't seem to understand uh, how these borders could be porous if we have the army, if we have home affairs, if we have SAPs all deployed at the borders. There's a big difference between the border area and the border line and ports of entry. Um, much of our resources currently as government are deployed at ports of entry. Government does have uh, and cabinet has initiated a border management agency bill which has been sitting in the National Council of Prov Provinces for an inordinate uh, length of time. And this has to start uh, uh, get, getting moving uh, so that we can uh, start implementing some of the principles uh, aimed at securing the border line uh, as well as our ports of entry. So those were some of the big issues uh, pertaining to home affairs. Um, I also reminded um, the audience today that in Gauteng uh, province as a whole there are about 94,000 uncollected identity documents and ID cards. Um, we called upon uh, the people today in the hall and at home uh, wherever you are in South Africa because there's a large number of uncollected IDs throughout the country. Uh, we call on people to please uh, go and collect these very important documents. They do pose a security risk to you because should those documents fall into the wrong hands, um, of course you would be the victim of identity theft and that's not something we want visited on our people. As you know, a few years ago we ran a massive campaign 
targeting uh, the issue of early registration of birth. The law provides that children be uh, registered on the national population register within 30 days of birth. We found that uh, there was a culture of non-compliance with that law, hence uh, the national population registration campaign was, was launched about seven years ago now. Um, the campaign continued for about five years and I think today, by and large, most South Africans know that they must register their children within 30 days. However, we still have very huge social problems in our communities, particularly where um, there are very young mothers who give birth to children and then leave them without documents with grannies and uncles and aunties and so on. Um, and these children have to be taken care of without documents. Uh, they can't be enrolled in schools anymore without birth certificates. The parents literally disappear. Uh, quite frankly, just abandoning children uh, with grannies and grandparents and so on. Uh, that, is, that is something that uh, we heard quite a lot of today and something that is very concerning to people. Um, it is very, very important that we, we drive home the message firstly about teenage pregnancies. I think that is a big area that uh, we need to focus on in government, in our schools, in our communities, because honestly speaking, that destroys two lives, the mother's life as well as the child's life. Uh, there are many uh, who are considered orphaned, even though they, they, their parents may be alive somewhere. Uh, and the burden on social development uh, is ever increasing, particularly in, 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 in this province. Uh, and in certain of the of the townships where we've heard from ordinary people how and the uh, CDW uh, officers who are working in those communities the extent to which there are abandoned children in our in our country um, so this this aspect will will need to be addressed unfortunately home affairs cannot address this on on, on its own and it needs um, a multidisciplinary effort, uh, but a very, very big effort must come from our communities themselves. Because I think if, uh, if our communities make this uh, an, an a priority issue and make it unacceptable for young girls to drop out of school uh, because they've fallen pregnant, uh, for them to leave and abandon their kids with whoever in the community and rush off uh, to the cities, etc. I think more and more uh, young girls would find that there are other options in their lives that they could, uh, and other roads that they could take to achieving um, their goals and, and really developing into, into full-blown contributing members of society.